I forgot to put a hearing on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's, um, what is it? It's Whiskey Mystery, and I'm Phil. I'm Viva. <laughs> we are blind tasting number 98, picked for us by Samuel Cast. Out of about 100 left on the shelf at the moment, we are, we are working our way through 200 whiskeys. Ooh, quite a dark one. Quite a bit of bubbles. Let's go ahead and pour in the 50% water version. And we'll see if that is chill filtered or not, because this is quite a light ABV, I think. Pete it? It's a freeze in the speed and orange. Pete and orange. Have we had, we haven't had Pete for a little while, have we? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, peat, peat and plasticine I'm getting. The modelling uh, clay the, from the UK. Uh, roasted wax Roast, Roasted wax crayons, yes. It's not It's not looking cloudy, is it? When you look at the glass. It's not, uh, it's not cloudy. It could be. I'm a bit suspicious. <laughs> well, shall we do... Full strength sip. Let's see how strong it tastes. Well, first sip of the day is always strong, isn't it? Fuck it. I don't think it's that high. I think it tastes strong because it's the first sip. Oh, there's almost nothing. Okay, 40 ABV comparison. 43 ABV. Doesn't even seem to hold up as good as 43. I think it might be 43. <laughs> Did we cover all the nose notes first? Let's do that. The peat is quite ashy. Um, burnt, I mean, burnt sticks. Yeah. Well, you said orange wax crayons, which I think is true. Maybe deeper saying wax crayons, I'm saying plasticine, but slightly, slightly chemical waxy oiliness. And maybe a dust of dead wine. Well, we presume it's sherried. I'm going to get it out of a fairly soft fermented plums. That's kind of fermented plums. Okay, I can buy that. A little bit nutty walnut oil. Mm. I don't know if I'm getting anything sweet as such. Nice though. I mean, I'm looking forward to trying it. Mm, the taste. Almost, almost max, but this is me. I'm getting burnt. And I have to get a beet. Let me be an orange. It seems like the peat is relatively strong mm. over the top. Underneath, I don't know, I'm not getting that much support from the sherry, if that's what it is. It might just be caramel colouring. But, I mean, the flavours are towards sherry. Nutty. And I'm getting a uh, finish. But no specific flavours. Yeah, it's a years. I think it's younger. No age statement, maybe. To me, it's um, the palate is a bit of a step down from the nose, mm. though. And the finish is kind of just more of the charcoal, a little bit of that fading sherry. the The flavors are quite simple. A little bit sweet. I think that is a weird combination of beet and orange. It's quite strange. It's the, combination. the more I go back to it, the sort of the less impressed I am. Yes. In fact, let's let's go to the the picture for a minute. This is what I'd scribbled up yesterday when we were trying to work our way through it. But now I kind of feel like the it's not quite as bold as that. I feel like I want to sort of blur out the middle a bit. Something a bit more like this. I mean, the peat is there, but it's softer. There's a, there's less detail. I'm um, sorry, the finish. I mean, it's it's nice, but you know, I've got half my mind on the shelf, and I'm looking down at the bottom. I mean, the bottom of our shelf is pretty high end now <laughs> for enjoyment, but I'm looking at. Lefroy Glore, um, Lefroy 10 cask strength. Okay, let's do a little comparison time then. 
So Ardbeg Ugedal, another classic sherry and peat. Oh, we've got one minute left. I'm going to add quite a bit of water again because of the high ABV. Better or worse? It's got to be better. Mm. Okay. No comparison. Yeah. Fantastic. So the art bag has been very dreamy. This beautiful internet and a beautiful beat. It's not ever grey. It's just a fish. But it's it's a much deeper, stronger flavours, even with the water. Oh, we're out of time. So now I got back with this. Okay, let's see. Mm. Uh, it's very watered down first and it's about thin. Thin. I think it's going to be 43%. And it's a pretty bit of degree. Right. Not bad. It's too average. So on the shelf. Yeah, I put I think it's. Uh, yeah, down the bottom somewhere. I suspect Lefroy Glore is better. We haven't had that for a long time. It does not have a character. A bit characterless. I, 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 I guess God, yeah. I yeah. hope it's not guess God, I hope yeah. it's not the Glen Scotia 15. And I don't expect it to be as shared as that. The Paul John Bold, India, 46%. I'm um, you. I don't yeah. think it's that shared. Why? Why? I don't think it's that shared. I'm hoping it's not a 22 year old so, Ben Roma because I don't think it tastes old. The straightforward Lagavulin doesn't have enough sherry. I hope it's not the Kilhoman. We really it, it like the, the, the distill. No, well, no, I think this is probably not that much sherry either on the Pendarin Kelt. And it's ex Lefroy barrels, not really peated. Yeah, I think it's a uh, stuff <laughs> evil proportion of sherry a peat. Okay, down to this four. My bias is with this. But more. 18 year old i'm sure we enjoyed that more and um, this was from our original 24 i'm sure we i'm but sure we enjoyed that 24. more yeah it was our number one oh, choice that, it, it cannot be this one and i would hope kilhoman is better i'm gonna go for the lagavulin did i say lefroy i'm gonna go for the lagavulin distillers edition from 2017 because it's 43 percent oh 101 dollars i think i think i go for this Okay, the choices are in. Ready for the reveal. It is 40, oh, uh, 43%. 43. 43%. <laughs> it is 16 years old. It costs $72. It's an Isla from... Lagavulin. Oh no! That can't be right. Hang on a minute, hang on. It oh, is! No. It's the standard Lagavulin so 16. You, you, you got Firefox for you. No, <laughs> no, I picked I picked the distiller's edition. Okay, bomb. Yeah, bomb. We bomb. So hang on. I don't remember there being that much sherry in the original I've never Lag 16. Before, no. No deeper. It's in our blind tasting. No, but I'm We've never the first had it. 24. No, but this was in our first 24. That's fantastic. Rich, interesting. <laughs> yeah, you have some. It's made of peat. Yeah, Soy. smoke, peat, but it's nice peat and leather. After forest and monsoon. The <laughs> forest, monsoon. Oh. I like tobacco and old, a little musty. Hey, I didn't say drink it all. Really good. Ah! Well, because of the name. I'm telling myself, I, I, I like it more, more, more. But, oh, but really, it, it, it doesn't have much character. Because, you're saying because of the name you like it more? Yeah, but I try. But it doesn't have enough character. But you can understand why people might have this as a first experience. Fair enough. It's so... And, and, and be totally amazed that a whiskey can taste like that, I would say. Mm, yeah.
The lonely outside on the left. That is very dusty. Oh, dust. A lot of dust. What number are we up to? 99. Oh, oh. <laughs> hang on. That looks like bourbon. Sorry. That looks like bourbon recall territory. Look at the size of the bubbles. Those are the biggest bubbles ever seen on the channel. <laughs> you go first. I'm scared. <laughs> Do you see the size of those bubbles? Um, <laughs> it's very strange. I was going to say bourbon, and I was like, no, hang on. What? Uh, but it's more of a bourbon. But it's very, very exotic. It's very foreign. It's not Scottish. It's not American. Okay. Whatever it is, we're going to find out on Sunday. Thanks all for watching. Hope you're enjoying your day, evening, whatever it might be.